Good morning, welcome to this Granny Enchanted tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use this scalloped paper. It's a freebie I offer with my Because I Can blog. And I'm going to show you how to use this scalloped paper to make the scalloped shape of paper in any paper you like. So here's the paper with this particular background. And today we're going to be using the shore paper with the bellish swirl. The shore paper comes from the shore kit in the Daisies and Dimples store, or you can find it in the Granny store with matching freebies. And this particular paper was made with the bellish swirl templates. Um, paper are also available in the store. Right now, September. 21st. They're on sale for one dollar. But if you come here to the scalloped paper, I can come to the right hand side to this layer and hold down the control key and click to select the paper shape and edit, copy. You can also drag and drop and do this. Edit, paste. And I'm going to paste this onto the bellish paper. Once again, I'm going to select it, control and click over here. And now I'm going to change layers. I'm going to be on the bottom layer and edit, copy, edit, paste. Now I'm going to hide the top paper and I'm going to hide the bottom paper and you'll see that here we have the outline cut out but if um, you'll notice on mine I usually do some kind of shading up here and that's what we want to do in ours. So I'm going to, on the bellish swirl, control, click, select, modify, contract, contract by 30 pixels. And that's going to bring my selection tool in, 30 pixels from the edge. Now I'm going to select, feather, I'm going to feather at 20 pixels. And it's going to think about that one. Okay, and select, inverse. Now I've selected everything this side, so the inside isn't selected at all, but everything on the outside has been selected. And I'm going to enhance, adjust lighting, brightness contrast, and I'm going to shadow that to make it more interesting on the paper. Okay, once it's shadowed, I can come to another background paper pop it up there and how cute is that and from there I can make a page with it I made this page here with my embellish kit and with that little trick I just showed you so now you can use any type of paper that you have in your collection just um, reshape it using one of my freebies Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate all of your support of GrannyEnchanted.com. You've been very good to me. Goodbye.